So I'm going to click here and we're going to choose use template. Now, this screen allows us to have some choice, some control over what is created in this in this new space via the template. The first thing we have to do is to give our new space a name. Now you see that it will default to the name of the template, but we can override this, enter in any name in here that we want. For convenience, I'm going to leave it as it is, but remember you can click here and type in your own name. In the import options area, we can bring over everything just like it is, or we can decide to exclude certain things. So maybe if there are comments on the tasks in this template, I don't really want those because it's not really related to my work. Um, I can leave those out or I can bring them over if I want to, but you have some control here. Now, this is a really powerful feature of ClickUp templates. If a template contains scheduled tasks, meaning that the start and or due dates have been added to them, ClickUp can either bring them in so the old dates will appear or it can remap. So what we can do is we can specify a new start date for the project. So I'm going to pick um, this Monday here, and we can also do this from an end date. Though I usually like to do it from the start date, but if you know when the project needs to be over, we can schedule backward. Um, I want to enable the options to skip weekends so that ClickUp does not schedule work when no one's working, and we want to make sure that all of our tasks come over as open. Once I have made these selections, we can click Use Template. Now, it does take several moments for a space template to appear. And we can see here that ClickUp is working on creating the space. So in a moment, we're going to see a message letting us know the space has been created, and we will see it appear here in our navigation sidebar. Learn more about this topic in our Help Center at help.clickup.com and in ClickUp University at university.clickup.com.